Donald Trump has uh, filed a bombshell lawsuit against Hillary Clinton. Yes, it's Trump versus Clinton. Not only Clinton, as it turns out, there are a number of other defendants. And um, anyway, I'm delighted to be here with my daughter, Danielle D'Souza Gill. She's the author of the book, The Choice, The Abortion Divide in America. She's also host of the um, a TV show called Counterculture with Danielle D'Souza Gill, which appears on Epic TV. Um, Danielle, this is actually, I think, a lot of fun here, and it looks like Trump, you know, is um, is giving it to them. Um, look at all the defendants in this lawsuit. It's it's uh, Hillary Clinton. It's the Democratic National Committee. Uh, it's the Perkins Coie firm. Um, it's Mark Elias, who used to be a partner in that firm. Michael Sussman, this is the guy, the Democratic operative who has been indicted by uh, Durham, Jake Sullivan, John Podesta, Christopher Steele of the Steele dossier, the FBI agents Peter Strzok and uh, Lisa Page, Andrew McCabe. So this is like a <laughs> this is like a menagerie of bad guys. And um, and uh, Trump is suing them for framing him. I mean, he's suing them for faking and cooking up the this uh, false Russia collusion narrative, which they not only tried to use to win the election in 2016, but having failed to do that, they used it to launch the Mueller investigation, four years of unremitting, um, in fact, uncritical media coverage. The media swallowed this and repeated it. Just, I wouldn't even, I mean, countless stories on this. So what do you think about Trump going to the court to hit back? I think it's exciting and great that he's doing that. And I think the only thing that's annoying is that because it's a civil case, we're not going to see them going to jail, right? Because this would basically mean that if he wins, they would owe him money because of all the pain they caused him, things like that. But we won't see Hillary locked up because of this, even though she should be. So we have to wait for the DOJ to get involved in order for her to actually go to prison, which I think we're all, you know, kind of hoping for that. But I still think that it's good that Trump's going to, you know, kind of see this all vindicated for him. So this is an important distinction that Daniel's making between a civil case and a criminal case. In a civil case, you can file for damages, but that's kind of all you can file for. And we'll come back to another benefit, I think, which is that you can put Hillary on trial. You can put the facts on trial and you don't have the media camouflage. You can do cross-examination. You can you can call Hillary to account. None of this has really happened. Um, but I think... Uh, the criminal case now, we don't just have to wait for Republicans to take the House and the Senate and the presidency. Why? Because we have a special counsel, John Durham, and he does have the power to indict people. Now, he's indicted Sussman, but I call him the tortoise. He moves really slowly. I mean, at this rate, it'll be like 2032 before his investigation is finished. I wonder if Trump is trying to send Durham a message through this suit. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think it also sends a message to everyone who already knows that, you know, Hillary is crooked. They already know that the Russia hoax was really silly. I mean, even a lot of people on the left really don't talk about it anymore because they just used it as a big talking point at the time when they wanted to push, push impeachment, things like that. So I think it's definitely important that he continues this. I mean, even someone like, you know, Meghan Markle files these uh, suits against a tabloid or something, even though she's, um, you know, kind of. <laughs> she, but she wants to drive probably, a point. Yeah, but I mean, Trump was obviously not guilty in any way, so of course he should pursue that. I mean, there are some people who will say, "Well, Trump is really vindictive, and maybe he has a vindictive streak." But you know what? I think that's actually a good thing in these cases because this guy like doesn't let it go. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of Rep Republicans would be like, "Well, that was you know, that was 2016. Let's let it be. Let's move on." Uh, this is kind of the Republican sensibility. It's not Trump's sensibility. I think in Trump's case, when he's wronged. He wants to go to considerable lengths to be vindicated. We see this in the election. He wants to be vindicated on the 2020 election. And he wants to be vindicated here. Now, he has been vindicated by the facts. But nevertheless, the crooks, and we're talking here, you know, it's too bad you don't have 100 media organizations in here also, because they're included in this. They were part of the hoax. Uh, and almost none of them have apologized. Almost none of them have said, you know what? Yeah, we perpetrated lies for four years. Maybe we were suckered. Maybe we were willing to be suckered because it was our side. But the absence of apologies, I mean, that's one big dog that hasn't barked. 
Right. And even if they do by that time, it's so so much later, kind of like with the Hunter Biden laptop story, which they suppressed. And then, of course, later they, you know, say, oh, OK, you know, maybe they're there's validity to that. But then, of course, at the time, I mean, the time has passed. So back then they already kind of got everything they needed to out of the Russia hoax. So, I mean, I do think that they should be held accountable for everything that they did. But at the same time, it's like, well, when it really mattered, you know, they they were still peddling those lies. I mean, it's important, I think, in these sorts of cases, and this one in particular, not to settle the case, not to sort of take some sort of uh, settlement, because that prevents the case from going to trial. What you actually want to do is have a courtroom, which the media is not going to be able not to cover, ideally a televised courtroom, and you call these people, you call Peter Strzok, you call Christopher Steele, you expose the connections between them, you're able to get discovery, the documents, how these people were all communicating in a kind of a diabolically corrupt ring. I mean, I mentioned, you know. <laughs> well, what if they they settled, though? Would that make it seem like they were guilty, which they are guilty? But I mean, a lot not of, really. Not really, because uh, a lot of times people settle cases because they don't want the hassle of it. Mm. So a corporation is sued. They'll settle it. They're not admitting they did anything. And almost all settlements include neither side is admitting anything. Oh. So we, I think that Trump is smart enough to know he doesn't want a settlement. What he wants to do is press the case to its conclusion. Uh, and use the case um, for a change, not to have himself on trial, which is kind of what the Russia collusion did, but put Hillary on trial. 